I'm Chef Mike Moses and welcome to my kitchen. Happy holidays. It is getting very close to that time where we celebrate with family and friends and I've got a very special treat for you. I know a lot of people like eggnog, but have you really had fresh eggnog? You know, made the traditional way. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make eggnog coming up. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these, please subscribe. I post new videos every week and I look forward to having you comment on what you see in here today. And what we need for this recipe is a pint of milk. Uh, you can do 2% or whole milk if you like. We're gonna use a cup of heavy cream. We're gonna use about a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. We are also going to use about a third of a cup of sugar. And we're gonna beat these until they're nice and creamy and we have a very perfect eggnog. This is a traditional eggnog and we're going to make it using fresh egg. Just cut these out of the chicken this morning. I actually got these from a farmer's market down the road so they're less than a week old so I know that my eggs are fresh. What we have to do now is separate the yolk from the whites. One way to do it, just crack your egg, break it in half, pour the yolk on one side, yolk on the other side. And if you don't feel comfortable doing the old uh, split the egg and use that as your vessel to separate the egg from the yolk, you can use a slotted spoon. Now the trick to that is crack your egg into the spoon. Just start jiggling it ever so gently. You can see the yolk is starting to come through. And there we have a yolk already separated. One thing we want to do is make sure that we don't have any yolk in our egg whites at all because that will prevent them from getting nice and fluffy. We'll get our big vessel out here. First part to assemble this eggnog, take your yolks, put them in the bowl, and we're going to start beating them. We're going to beat them until they're nice and pale yellow before we start adding the sugar. The egg yolks have been incorporated. Now we're going to add our sugar, but we're going to do it very slowly, a little bit at a time until the sugar completely melts. All right, scrape down the sides one more time. Just make sure that everything is incorporated. It's the last thing you want your guests to have in their egg eggnog is grains of sugar. As you can see, we've got very, very, not quite a peak in this, we'll get, the, we'll get to that. Uh, whirling around, we start to add our milk. And we'll add our heavy cream. We want one teaspoon of nutmeg. I always like to grab a fresh nutmeg and my multi-purpose grater, which also has a little, little handy spot to keep it. And we just start grating. A teaspoon of nutmeg is going to be just about a half a nutmeg. Another little beet. The base of our eggnog already made now we've got to do the egg whites, and we've got to make them just into a soft peak. So I'll set this aside. It already smells like Christmas. I'm going to take my beaters, and I am going to clean them because uh, the egg yolk will prevent the egg whites from frothing up. Okay, for our egg whites, we'll put those in here to mix. Blender ready to go, and we want light peaks on these. Check our peakness, not quite yet. So before our egg whites become fully nice soft peaks, they're just about there, you want to slowly incorporate a tablespoon of sugar. You want to do it slowly so that the sugar crystals don't break up the bubbles and you have flat egg whites. That's not very appetizing. So 
on medium high speed, slowly introduce the sugar until we get soft white peaks. And those are soft white peaks. Now it's time to incorporate everything and serve up a nice glass of real fresh eggnog. So you've got your egg yolks and your cream and your milk and your nutmeg here and your sugar and we've got the egg whites and we're just going to pour those in and slowly fold around. Once you see that everything's incorporated, there's no lumps of egg white, everything looks nice and smooth and you have real traditional eggnog. You can add alcohol to this if you want, even put it in a serving pitcher, and this will keep in the fridge for up to probably three or four days. Okay, let's serve up some. Happy holidays, a little bit of fresh eggnog just like I remembered it. Not like the store-bought stuff. It's got some bubbles, it's got some flavor. It's got some really rich and really tasty. Cheers! I hope you enjoy my traditional eggnog. That's really, really good. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I post videos like this every week, so please subscribe. Also, if you'd like more information, head over to my blog, thepersonalchef.blog where I post this recipe that you can print off. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to helping you cook better, eat healthier, and shop smarter.